Hey guys, Bridget here. Welcome back to part two of the whole, um, this whole, I call it the spiderweb bowl here, this thing. I decided to stop the movie, the video, so I can mix up more paint. I thought I had more black, but I didn't. So I just stopped it to mix up more black. And so I just put more colors in here. I'm going to go around this and see how it works. Um, I use the same colors, pumpkin orange, black, white, and bright yellow. So we're just gonna go around it. Cause I kinda like the whole, the look that the center gave me. So I wanna keep it. So I'm just going to go around and around and around. Skip down here some, whoops. Come down more down here. And we'll do some more up here. There's a lot of orange and black in here. This is that pumpkin orange I did not think I would use a lot of. But that big old eight ounce bottle kind of went by fast. But I did all those fall paintings for the first day of fall. That was kind of cool. All right, so we'll let that sit here for a minute. It is kind of gray, but you still got the colors, right? That's all good. <coughs> so I'm gonna torch what we just added. Harley Davidson colors, kinda right here in the black and orange, but I did mix yellow and white to this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt it some. Let's spread it out some here, like around the edge of this to get it to go flowing. Let's go. So I don't want to get, lose a lot of the colors. The whole design I got going on. It's kind of cool. So. I know I'm going to lose it. Just give me a moment. I am going to tilt it back and forth. This is a big canvas. I don't even know what I was thinking. I knew when I started this painting... I was not going to have enough paint, period. But I wanted to try the whole uh, spiderweb bowl. Alright, we're going to bring it back down. I'm going to catch it in this lower corner. Woo! Push it back down some. My desk is full of paint because I'm in the middle of mixing some more paint too. All right, let's get this down here. Pull it down here. Come on, paint. All right, so we have Kind of a cool looking painting. It's very big. Um, I'm used to the tiny little canvases, but I need to grow up and be a big girl now and go to the bigger size, right? All right, give me a moment. I'm going to pause this, go wash my hands and bring it down for a close-up, okay? All right, guys, here we are, close-up. I forgot to torch it. Well, I really didn't want to torch it until after my hands were a little cleaner. So we're gonna torch it up a little bit. I am liking it. 
So just give me a moment. Um, I have something in my painting. Yay, I caught it. All right, so we're going to go to the upper left-hand corner. The little swirls. There's a ton of cells in here. I like it. I like how the gray came out, too, even though we did not use gray. But the black and white use gray. That was the upper right-hand corner. We're going to go to the lower uh, right-hand corner. All of this. Kind of cool. Um... Next time I will make sure there's more paint on it. But I really liked how this turned out. Um, kind of different. Um, so we're going to see what it really looks like after it dries. If you guys liked this, I apologize. This was actually a, supposed to be one whole video. But I had to mix up more paint so I made it into part two. Like two parts. So... Um, if you guys like this, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber yet. And we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.